on renewable energy engineering. I am Mini Trivedi, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Let us start with an introduction of the subject, Renewable Energy Engineering. Shortly, it is called as RWE. It is a four credit subject in GTU, but we should remember that credit is only the number. We have to study any subject in depth for the basic understanding and to gain knowledge of it. If you study thoroughly, you will develop the understanding and it will really very helpful for mankind and of course for this earth. So now let us start with the brief of this subject. Nowadays, renewable energy is the only option to cope up with our requirement of energy. Basically, electrical energy as we all know. As we know, the world has already started research on electrical vehicle and saving non-renewable, which is known as conventional energy, like natural gas, coal, etc. By using all these conventional reserves, there is the effect of global warming and the life is suffering due to the same. Hence, the use of renewable energy is very much safer and convenient. Now let us start with the subject content. This will contain total 6 chapters. First chapter is scenario in renewable energy sources. Renewable energy is shortly called as RE. Second chapter will be on solar energy. Third one on the wind energy. Fourth on bioenergy. Fifth on ocean, wave, geothermal and MHD power generation. And last but not least, chapter number 6 is economic analysis. Okay, so now let us start with our first chapter. Scenario of renewable energy sources. The name of scenario of renewable energy sources. It means we have to consider which kind of scenario is there. Now it contains need of renewable energy. As you all know, there is a need of renewable energy. Okay, now second one is advantages and limitation of renewable energy and third present scenario of conventional and renewable sources. Okay, now as we know it requires lots of energy for the growth and renewable is the important one because of our natural resources are just on the verge of completion as we all know like natural gas and coal and everything. For the comfort and standard of the life measures, we need to forward with the renewable energy. In this chapter, we are going to study about present scenario, all kind of energy sources, whether they are coal, natural gas, solar, wind, any other, conventional or non-conventional. Here, there is a graph of the expected percentage of energy we will gain in year 2050. As you see, the oil is only 0.1% we are having. So, the future will definitely reach up to the maximum limit of using renewable sources. Our second chapter is on solar energy. Now, as you all know, from the ancient times, we worship the sun and find it as the source of all the energies. We know uh, it brings the life on the sun. Now, by using the same source of energy, we will re regain the pure and clear environment. In this chapter, we will study in depth about solar system. This chapter also contains so many demands. Okay, Structure of the solar system, radiation measuring instrument, energy conversion, different types of solar collectors, solar bond and at last solar cell modulus and material use for it. Student, solar cells are very very important. Now, as we know, solar panels nowadays used in the houses for producing electricity and government also help the householder to generate electricity by their own. By so many years in some of the houses, people use solar cooker for cooking purpose and the solar heater is nowadays very much used for the heating water because at a, at a very low cost. Now let us see the diagram here as you see the first diagram is of the solar radiation reaching to the earth's surface. Now uh, as you know there is only radiation between sun and the earth. 
okay other processes like conduction and convection cannot possible in the vacuum area it means solar radiation reaching to the earth surface and transformation of the radiation into the heat and absorption on the earth surface so our first diagram is based on this now you can also see how solar radiation are helpful for the house lightening system as you see in our second diagram we will study the conversion of radiation and heat by the solar ray in this chapter we have to do the numericals similarly based on this work now let us start our brief uh, brief study about wind energy so our third chapter is on wind energy regarding the wind energy first thing should be in our mind is to have large space where the wind flows free in india any coastal areas are having that much large space and the flow of the wind in an appropriate way particularly in gujarat there is a large coastal area where we can establish the windmill for gathering the electrical power in rajasthan also there are large land forms where the flow of wind is good now the chapter contains the in the detail study of windmill energy conversion of wind flow into the electrical energy we will also study about the potential of energy and the site selection student how much energy is gained and which kind of site you select is most important how they take place we will cover the basic of the land forms which kind of leading industries are using the wind mill etc Now, as you remember about the source on wind farm they are also making the wind mills we are also study in detail about the installation of wind mill which are the basic criteria helpful for the production more and more energy now in the fourth chapter which is the bioenergy and i think if i am not wrong we have already studied about the biomass system in our school time so here you can understand that you have to take the uh, just the introduction of that uh, subject as well as the briefing and in detailing of this biomass energy we will study about the biomass energy and as you know biomass energy can be produced by the waste of the vegetable human and animal waste it will give us the energy in the form of gas this gas contain water vapor and hence the wall of the stove or the furnace should have the large nozzle it means you have to change the design of the nozzle also for this we require more and more vegetation and plantation because bioenergy can only be gained with the vegetation and plantation we also require the detailed study uh, on the energy plantation gasification and types of gasifiers in this chapter we will study about different types of biogas plants and factor affecting the biogas generation according to the study uh, the production of biogas is very cheap and has a longer life which require low maintenance now as you see there is the biomass energy in this diagram and you can understand it very well we require more vegetation now in our chapter number 5 there is the combination of four chapter ocean energy wave energy geothermal energy and mhd power generation now in the ocean energy will cover the otec system now what is otec otec means ocean thermal energy conversion means the thermal energy of ocean converts into the electrical energy in this we also study about the tidal power the use of tidal power and how the electricity be generated in the wave energy we learn the system in which the energy of waves be converted into other means of energy as you see in this diagram the waves produced in the oceans are endless and can be a good source of renewable energy generation so now let us start with our other topic like geothermal energy in the geothermal energy the vapor and magma inside of the earth can give us the steam and we can generate the power and electricity we will also study based on hot dry rock resources 
the geothermal energy is generated at a specific places where there are the energy reserves present. We cannot produce the geothermal energy at each and every place. Now the other topic is MHD power generation. MHD means magneto hydrodynamics. In thermal power plant, the energy of steam is converted into mechanical energy and then into the electrical one. In MHD, fluid energy is directly converted into the electrical energy and it is very efficient in the uh, as compared to the simple thermal power plant. Now as you see in this diagram, there are two diagrams. One is for geothermal energy and another one is for MHD electric generator. So by all these things, we can generate the electricity. And in the future, our goal is only to generate the electricity or other mix of energies. Now, last, the chapter is economic analysis. Students, this chapter is very, very important according to the financial one. Now, if we want to establish the different power plants, okay, irrespective of the conventional one, the economic analysis is compulsory. According to study, if we want to get the renewable energy, then costing like initial and annual both are high as compared to the conventional one. So we need to study them and by studying, we have to find out the solution of reduction of cost. We also have to consider the time value of money, payback period, present cost calculation for the future reference because if we get the energy with the higher cost, then it is not worth. Finally, we have to calculate the cumulative saving and life cycle cost also. Okay, so if we, uh, here there is the diagram based on the economic study. We have to check all the sources like technical, economical, market potential, land cost and any, uh, and finally the life of the power plant. Nowadays, solar system is very much used in this world, but there are chances of using other means of electricity also based on the requirement in current scenario. Sun is available nearly at every place in the daytime with different angles and radiation values. Hence, the use of solar energy is very much easy at every place instead of using any other energy resources like wind, geothermal, ocean, and etc. Therefore, in this chapter, economical studies are completely based on the solar system. Okay, so the student, uh, students, this is the basic introduction of renewable energy engineering. This subject will be very useful for the future generation like you all. Only you can bring the change in this world. Thank you all of you for watching this video. If you have any query, you can contact me. Thank you.